Another wonderful town in the south of France to visit is Uzès. We're in Languedoc, which is just to the west of Provence, typical of the region, and a very charming town. The main street has got some little craft booths set up almost every day, and the old town is a pedestrian zone, as usual you'll find in these beautiful villages in the south of France. There's some upslopes and downslopes, but it's a fairly level, small, old town. Road around it follows the route of the original medieval fortified wall. So this is one of those limestone towns that is really well preserved. And the arcades around the main square are a wonderful place to shop, a place to eat and drink, and just hang out. This main square, Place aux Herbes, has been the center of Uzès ever since before the Roman days, back when it was a Gallic village. It's right in the heart of the old town, a fairly large space with these plain trees all around that were planted to provide shade. Sometimes in the summertime it'll get hot, but we're here in the fall and the weather is perfect. You can see it's shirt sleeve weather for some, and the families are out, but it's not a very crowded day. We're here in the middle of the week. If you come on a Saturday, there's a large outdoor market that takes place in the town, but on a weekday, it's really pretty quiet, especially when we're here in November. And this main square is surrounded by the arcades, these kind of loggia with the cafes, with the shops. Originally in the 17th century, there was wooden structures around the main square. Limestone is a great building material in the area, so it makes it convenient to construct these classic and immortal buildings. Nice fountain in the middle of the square. Just a place to relax. You'd want to just drop anchor here for a while and hang out, get a drink. There's nice restaurants around the square as well. And then of course there are the little streets that come into the square that are ideal for shopping and meandering. Note the baguettes tucked away in the stroller, the staff of life here in France, the staple food. As we walked around with our small group and our local guide, it seemed like we were about the only tourists in town, mostly locals out for a stroll. Although it's a small town, there really are a couple miles of these narrow pedestrian lanes that are so inviting. There might not be shops or restaurants on many of them. They're residential, occupied for over 500 years with many of these original buildings intact. It's a great place for the aimless wander that the French called the flaneur. It was the French back in the 19th century who perfected the art of walking for sheer pleasure. You're just walking along, alert to your surroundings, observing things, interesting, even unimportant details, not so much worried about your destination, but enjoying the journey. Of course, there's a lot of history attached to this 2,000-year-old town. This became an important area for the ancient Romans about 2,000 years ago because there was a good supply of water, a big natural spring in the area, and they needed to bring that water about 16 miles away over to their city of Nîmes. And thus they built a aqueduct, a long canal, mostly underground and above ground at the famous Pont du Gard and all the way on into Nîmes. You do get a beautiful view across the valley where the water came from when you stand on the edge of the old town. It's a verdant and lush natural landscape out there. So it was an important settlement for the Romans. They continued their occupation right up through the end of the empire about the middle of the fifth century. And they developed a civilized and tolerant urban life. In the early eighth century, Uzès became a fortified town and a bishopric under the Archbishop of Narbonne. A cathedral was first built here about a thousand years ago. This present cathedral dates from 1652. One of the unique structures in town is La Tour Fenstrel. It's the bell tower next to the cathedral. It dates from the 12th century in the Italian Romanesque style. 
It's the only Italianate Romanesque bell tower in France. A thousand years ago, something quite significant happened. It became the first dukedom in France. And that same noble family has the 17th Duke still reigning today from his castle. This castle is open to the public as a museum with the paid admission. The architecture is kind of a summary of the building history of France. It expresses the Middle Ages, the Gothic, the Renaissance. There's touches of the 17th century and modern times are all there. And yet the ensemble is a harmonious blend that's very pleasing to the eye. Of course, like when you're visiting any one of these beautiful small stone villages in France, one of the most interesting activities is simply strolling through the little lanes, the little alleys. Don't worry so much about the history, the, the dates, or who lived in what building. Just enjoy the view, appreciate the history that these buildings have survived 500 years, 600 years, made out of this very sturdy limestone. It's a small village, just eight and a half thousand inhabitants altogether in the area. And the old town is just about a half a mile across. And yet big enough to keep it interesting for several hours, you're not going to get lost. So just stroll around and find a restaurant, have a nice meal and enjoy yourself in this little town of Uzes. And if you're looking for more restaurants, you can just venture out to the main road. It well, encircles the old town, so you can reach this little road within five minutes from any part of the old town. And there are a number of restaurants in different price categories, as well as more shops along the way here, following the route of what had been the medieval wall around Uzes. A tip on selecting your meal, you might consider the plat du jour. Most restaurants have got a special of the day and it would be a good price, freshly made, and you don't have to wait very long for it. I had a lovely meal in this bistro with very good service. And after a refreshing break, we continued on with a little bit more touring and learning about the history. And then our local guide, Mark, tells us about this fascinating palace across from the cathedral. Marquise de Rouen, eh? okay, so a noble man. And this man was working for Louis XV, see, and he was in Egypt and Greece. And when he came back here, retired, he was fond of the archaeology antiquity, so he decided to have buildings with colonnades like that. That's why there's many colonnades like that. And he had a garden. And he would used to go to this garden through this small bridge. Not too bad, huh? And so we've had a lovely visit to the little town of Uzes. It just oozes charm. And we had a good look at it thanks to our local guides, Mark telling us some about the history. And it's a package tour. You can get it out of Avignon, and they have several other locations, Provence Reservation. In our case, it was a full day trip by van from Avignon over to pont du -Gar which we've also shown you in another movie, and on to Les Beaux, which we'll be showing you in yet a different film, and this wonderful visit to Uzes. Be sure to have a look at some of our other movies in this series, and why don't you subscribe to our channel so that you're notified about our new uploads.